Hello, and welcome to today's edition of ALA News. I am Kinsey, and here are some stories t- we are following today are Mr. Trejo and his amazing ping pong skills, fact or fiction, Coke or Pepsi, can you really tell the difference, walking in a straight line, and how our kindergarten students have mastered this task. Wow, those sound like some amazing stories, but first we would like to go to our top story. The Apple Run is coming to Queen Creek Elementary. Mia Williams is live at a press conference. Mia, are you there? Claire, that's right. I'm here at a press conference with Mr. Stoddard and Ernie the Apple. Let's listen in. Mr. Stoddard, what is the Apple Run about? You know what, that's a good question. The Apple Run is a fundraiser, and we combine running, fitness, and character lessons, and it's so much fun. When will the Apple Run take place? The Apple Run is gonna be October 25th, all day. We're gonna be out on the field, and we're gonna be running and having a lot of fun with a lot of music. And by the way, we'll need parents out there to help us support us, and uh, parent volunteers. Are there prizes students can win? That's an awesome question. Are there prizes? Of course, we got this little flying ninja, we also have these awesome emoji keychains. We have the car pens right here, which she's been asking for one all day. <laughs> That's right, we have the wireless earbuds, and then we also have a GoPro style camera, and the last, but certainly certainly not least, we have the drone that everybody wants. Right, Ernie? Yeah, Ernie's excited. He's gonna be there at the run as well. This sounds like it's going to be amazing and so much fun. Back to you, Claire, in the newsroom. That does sound amazing. I know what I'm looking forward to participating. I am too. I had so much fun last year, and I hear we are going to get some great things with the money we earned. We certainly did. We have Annie live with Mr. Trejo to discuss how the money earned last year was spent. Annie, are you there? Hi, I am here with our school director, Mr. Trejo. Mr. Trejo, um, last year, our school par- earned a lot of money by participating in the Apple Run. How was that money used? Well, hi, Annie. Thanks for asking that question. We really did earn a lot of money. And so some of the things that we used the money for were first, we got new curtains for our stage, which are really exciting because that's the first time we've ever had curtains. We got a speaker system with that, um, which included speakers, a projector, a drop-down screen, and all of that cost about $15,000. So that was a lot of money that we spent for those. We also spent about $5,000 giving to teachers because they buy supplies at the beginning of the year. So we gave each teacher $150 to spend in their classroom to purchase supplies. So that came to about another almost $6,000. Um, we also, remember those jumping castles and the, the, that we used for the water field day with the water? Uh-huh. All of those were purchased with Apple Run money. We've also done some professional development for our teachers. And um, I can't remember, we bought sports equipment, music, instruments. And we still have a little bit of money left, but we have a lot of we need more money for this coming year. Wow, that's amazing. I know this It is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I know this year the money earned will be used to buy some great things. Um, well, we have a really long list. It could be like a lot of money. But one of the things that we were looking at is a program called this um, the Leader in Me program, which is basically the seven habits of highly effective people for kids. That's one thing that's really expensive to do for a whole school, which would make it really an amazing school, even more amazing than it is now. Uh, we also want to buy smart boards for all of our teachers. We want to get a playground for our kinder and first grade. We want to get more shade covers because you know here we always need a lot of shade covers because it gets really hot. Um, and we also wanted another computer on wheels. We need some more computers, the Chromebooks, because we don't have quite a few, we don't have quite enough for all of our students. So those are some of the things that we would need, and that's just those things alone would be over $100,000. So we really need everybody to come out and support our Apple Run because this is really exciting things, and we only want the best for our students. Wow, that's been fantastic. Claire, back to you in the newsroom. I can't believe we are able to get that great stuff just by running. Well, I think we have to do a little bit more than just run. Right now, we have Maddie and Blythe live to share some additional details. Thank you, Kenzie. You are right. You need to do a little bit more than just run. These kids behind me are on the phones. They are trying to get their friends and family to sponsor them. That's right. We're setting a goal for our entire school. We would like every student to raise $100. Of course, you can raise more if you want. But if each student raised at least $100, our school would make over $80,000. Can you imagine what we could do with that money? 
I definitely can. Each student will be getting a packet that contains ideas on how to raise that money. Making phone calls and using social media are just a few of those simple ideas. We know if we work together, we can reach our goal. Yes, we can. Kenzie, back to you. Thank you, Bless and Maddie. I think we can reach that goal. I think we can too. That is all the time we have today. Thank you for tuning in. I am Claire on behalf of Kinsey and the entire Patriot Council. Have a great day, ALA.